All right, what's going on, guys? It's Boy Bandito, and we're back with a series of unfortunate events. We are really hoping that we are going to be a little bit better this time than we were last time. Uh, last time, we the platforming took a large majority of the time. We just we kept throwing Sunny's uh, platforming. You are. You did help Violet out very well, very much. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, we have four snakes we have to pick up. We are on snake duty with Dr. Monty. Such an odd place to keep snakes. So yeah. Got we need to... Basically, we're, we're catching snakes because they have to go into the reptile room while we go to Peru. These snakes aren't so scary. Um, unfortunately, something's telling me we're not making it to Peru. I don't know what it is, but something's telling me we ain't making it to Peru. I think it's just the, the game, the way the game works. If it's a series of unfortunate events, we aren't making it to Peru. Okay, we're gonna grab this. We're gonna catch this on this jump. Beautiful. Make it over here, and then we can open up the next spot. Is that Klaus just standing over there? No, push this, please, thank you. That is not Klaus. Who's that? Who is that? Excuse me? Can I... She's over there now. Okay, well, I can't do that. Can I walk across here? Nope. Uh, <laughs> nope. No, not what I had in mind. Let's try that again. Huh. Oh, I'll, I did that, like, twice. I did that twice, and it didn't work. Weird. Okay, so now we gotta go back to Klaus. Oh, what we need to do is we need to make the jump. Oh, my. I don't like this jump at all. Something about that jump being that long just puts me, puts me off here. I busted. Get busted. Um, so we gotta push these off, I'm assuming. Yeah. We're not off, but push them as far as we can. Awesome. Beautiful. Let's go take the fumigating female out. Busted. Busted. Uh, so now we can push this on top of there, and then we'll go hit the other one and run. Set off both switches. Now we need to wall up that. Beautiful. And now Violet should be able to jump over. Yep, beautiful. Look at us. Really figuring it out. Ow? Excuse me? I don't understand how the umbrella makes that. You know, that's just me though. I oh no, bro, more wasps. Fly at me, come on, come on, fly at me. I'm gonna use the auto aim to its uh. I'm using the auto aim. It's my best friend right now. Now, if we only had like a limited amount of fruit. Good. Beautiful. Yeah, if only if we had like a limited amount of fruit and everything, that would suck. But since it's unlimited fruit and we can just do whatever we want, I'm all for it. Beautiful. And now we're back together. Grab that puzzle piece. Awesome. Now let's just step on the other one. I really wish. You know, that's, that noise in the background would just stop. Okay. So I drop that. Beautiful. What is that? Dude, what is that noise? It's like spinning rocks or something. And that should be, what, all eight snakes? Is that, is that, don't tell me that noise is just going to be in the background for forever now.
I hope that noise is gone. Like the the grinding yeah, rocks. The oh, thank Let's God. Head that door. Thank God. Okay, we have all the snakes. Let's go to the courtyard. Gotta bring those snakes into the reptile room. Huh. Look at all those toads. Klaus, you'll have to deal with them. About that. Ew. But why are there so many of them? Excuse me? Straight up, why are there so many of them? Hey, what's the hurry? Oh. You're not worried about your Uncle Monty, are you? Relax, stay here. Let me play you a song. I'll pass, brother. Oh no. The snakes are under spell. We've got to recapture them. I'll I'll pass on the music, brother. Let's get, capture these snakes. Are they all just gonna be running around the same spot? Yeah. Yoink. 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 Bro, come back here. Ow. Yoink. Where'd he go? What? Uh, oh, it's like, where did he just go? Ouch. What? Bro, there ain't no way he's like an... Oh, he's got the Elven Ring Shockwave. There just simply ain't no way. Wow. This is a this is a decent little fight. Yoink. Yoink. Yoink, yoink. Ye Ow. Yoink. Yoink, yoink. Beautiful. Bro, bro really thinks he's an Elden Ring boss. That's crazy. Ow. Man. Man, come on. Take him out. The frog. Dude, this is something. This is something, all right. Ow, get up. Beautiful. How far is he? Ah, uh, he's got like, what, three hits in him still? Come on. Man. Beautiful. Grab this, jump that, hit the frog. Jump him. Beautiful. One more. Busted. Busted! This is a fun little boss fight. That won't be the last you hear of me! I hope it is. I don't want to hear from you anyway. That must be the key we need to open the gate. That's something. Um, that was a crazy little fight. Was honestly kind of shocked that it was like that. I really expected it to be like the other ones. We kind of just walk in there and it's like, okay. Easiest fight of my life. That's just reptile. Uncle Monty's key. Okay, so now we can run around and go unlock all of Monty's stuff. Um, we should probably go this way, I think. I think this way would probably be the best, huh? Yeah, because it takes us to the reptile room. The reptile room was filled with the many strange creatures Dr. Montgomery had collected from around the world. There was the fidgety boa. The fidgety the boa. Maraschino cherries and nothing else. For real? The septilingual tree frog. Yeah, three eyes. Say hello in seven different languages. Namaste. What? What? That was exceptionally strange. Namaste? Like that? Snake in Tanzania. It's called... The incredibly deadly viper. Something tells me. He's presenting it to the Herpetological Society next month as a new discovery. Sunny! No. Oh, Sunny. Don't worry. According to these notes, it couldn't possibly harm her. The incredibly deadly viper is one of the least dangerous and most friendly <laughs> creatures in the animal kingdom. Yeah. It certainly doesn't look friendly. Klaus, we 
better put these snakes away quickly. Yeah, you know, we should. Nah, in the movie, they don't really just tell you that. Like, the whole point of the movie is, like, you're stressing out about, oh my gosh, the incredibly deadly viper. And then Sonny gets in there while Poe is here. And it's like, oh yeah, by the way, not deadly at all. Very, very much the opposite. Okay. So I guess it's just a bunch of those that we're going to have to look for. There's one up there. Wild. Beautiful. There you go. And now that one needs to come down eventually. We got this one down. Awesome. Back where you belong. Oh, well, they like to be outside. They don't belong in here. They just like to be outside. You must be glad to be home. And they can't be in here while we're, uh, you know, in Peru away. Or can't be outside. What? That's weird. Why can't they just stay outside? Unless he just wanted to, wanted to test go. us. I mean, that could make sense. He just wanted to test us, maybe? Another one there. Beautiful. More like it. Put him away. How many do we have left? Back where you belong. Three. We need to find three more cages. There's one here. I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Two more, somewhere. Right here. Place him in there, and then the last one. Safe and sound. Need to find this last one, which is right there. Beautiful. And now that we have Dr. Monty's key, we can run around, go pick up everything that, that's left. There, that's the last of them. Now we can do something about Count Olaf. Yeah, let's do something. Stefano? Sure. Uncle Monty is a scientist. If we're gonna convince him of Stefano's true identity, we need to show him cold, hard proof. Wow. Well, what about his luggage? Surely there's some evidence among his personal belongings. It's worth a try. Let's find his guest bedroom. I mean, yeah, that's a good point. He's gonna want cold hard evidence. So let's give it to him. Give him some. Guest bedroom? Oh, wait. Um, let's go run around and unlock these chests around here. If there are any out here. I thought there was some out here. I guess not. The garden. I don't think we need to go back out. Oh, yeah, we do. Let's go grab all these chests. Do like at least one in each area. I know there's definitely one in here. Yep. Nailed it. And now I'm assuming one in each area. Um, I thought there was more in the main room, but I guess not. And we already cleared the reptile room, so there's not one in there. I guess, does this go to the front yard? Where does this go to? The grounds? Is there one in here? Or no? I think we just came from there, actually. I think we just came from here. Yeah. Unless it's tough, so there shouldn't be a chest. No. Okay. Maybe I'm just foolish. I thought there was more, but I guess not. Alright, let's go take out the... Take out. Let's go to the hallway. Let's to the garden. We were just there. Do the reptile room. I think we were just there as well. So the only other place we can go is here. So we'll go here. Well, this will take us to the front room. That sounds like combat music. Oh, great. Pirate guy's back. Great. Pirate guy. Ow. Really, dude? Bro, why is this guy so weak? Spinning. Why is he so weak? All these enemies so far have been extremely weak. Guest room. Yeah, that's where we need to go. 
Oh no. I caught you in the act, you oh, it's her. little brats. No respect for privacy whatsoever. She's back. Are we just like never gonna end up like eliminating any of these? <laughs> like, I guess if we're just not gonna ever eliminate them fully, like, we'll take uh, these fights aren't terrible. These fights could definitely be worse. Especially when they're extremely predictable. You just dodge left and right. I mean, like, but, like, yeah, they were never gonna make this way too hard. You know? If they're, like, Dark Souls, I'd understand, but it's not. It's, it's a kid's game based off a kid's show, kid's book series as well. Kids movie, kids book series. They were never gonna make it too hard. We bust it again. Don't tell Olaf. He'll fire me for sure. I will tell Olaf. It'd be funny. Get busted, idiot. Awesome. Um, I don't think I took damage there, but I pick up this now. All the time. Maybe we could use it later. Come on, dude. Pick, pick it up now, bud. It's gotta be Count Olaf's stuff, we'll huh? Need something to get this open. Hmm. Yeah, that's Olaf's stuff. I've got an idea for an invention that will pick that lock. I'll need a paintbrush, a spool, and that pair of tweezers. I like how she just knows. She knows exactly what she needs. Like, I know she's supposed to be brilliant and everything, but, like, she just knows exactly what's needed. Here's a paintbrush. The spool will be back this way. On the sewing machine that we just looked at. There's the spool, and now we can go pick up the tweezers from the bed. Beautiful, and then there's another chest. First up, the spool. Spool, yeah. Turn the chamber inside the lock. We're making a lock the pick. This piece is the paintbrush. It'll allow us to keep the device steady. We're making a lock pick, and dude. Last, the tweezers to take care of the interior pins. It's fairly simple, but it'll do the job. I call it the lucky lock. Pick. The lucky lock pick. That's crazy. We're about a Skyrim lock pick. It's insane. All right, let's get it. Oh, jeez. I'll have to follow the pattern carefully, or else this will never work. Okay. Right. Up. Left. Weird. Right. Up. Left. Left. I think I'm getting some. Okay. This is harder than it looks. It's really not. Right, up, down. It's really not that hard, bud. Right, up, down, up. Okay. Right, up, down, up. One more? Yeah. Right, up, down, up. Up. Right, up. Down, up, up. Right, up, down, up, up, right. Right, up, down, up, up, right. Beautiful. It's getting complicated, but I think I can do it. Left, left, up. So it'd just be the same thing. Left, left, up, something else. Left, left, up, right. Left, left, up, right. Okay. Left, left, up, right, down. So left, left, up, right, down. Okay. Left, left, up, right, down, right. Right, down, right, right. Left, left, up, right, down, right, right. Uh-oh. Down, right, right, up. 
left, left, up, right, down, right, right, up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Powder puff, hand mirror, extra wigs, fake mustaches. This is more than enough evidence. Let's find Uncle Monty and show him right away. He's sure to realize how much danger we're in. Where's Monty at, though? It is absolutely true oh, that no. had you acted differently in life, there are mistakes that could have been avoided, opportunities that wouldn't have been missed, and yes, even lives that could have been saved. We try not to think about these things, but when tragedy strikes, we can often do nothing else. Oh, no. I feel I am somewhat responsible for this tragedy. I uh, should have taken it upon myself to warn him that the incredibly deadly viper is one of the most deadly snakes in the world. I should know by Bro is cabin, bro. You what? Don't be so hard on yourself. Dr. Montgomery was clearly a very reckless and strange man. Take it back, Poe. It was a snake bite that did the job. There's no question about it. Take it back. No, that's not true. The incredibly deadly viper couldn't have killed him. It's one of the least deadly and most friendly creatures in the animal kingdom. <clears throat> well, I don't know what you consider friendly, but in my opinion, poisoning someone is a terribly inconsiderate gesture. Ha! Huh. If there is a truer thing huh. that could be said, I, I cannot think of it right now. Was... It is often that I, I must question why I have devoted my vast uh, intellect uh, to the study of these ill-mannered reptiles. Uh, it's literally just the movie plot. They are a thankless bunch and uh, very slimy. Uh, in all my oh, years sunny. of service, I've, I've never received a single birthday present or a greeting card. Yeah, so like, this is what I was talking about earlier with the movie. They never really stated that, yeah, the incredibly deadly viper is not deadly at all until Sonny is in the cage well, uh, with it. Let me, uh, let me tell you something. I, I know a snake viper and see one. Uh, I am a world-renowned expert. So, yeah. Snake like, they never really explicitly state it until Sonny is in with it, you I, know? Uh, I am not Count Olaf, uh, this man of whom you speak. Uh, Fuck. I am, uh, I am an Italian man. Uh, in fact, how dare you, you accuse me of uh, such a thing? Shoot it! Or bite it or something. Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to attack it. I guess I'm not allowed to attack those. Oh, Sonny. Just not real close there, bud. Okay. No, you doofus. You doofus. Well, uh, let me, uh, let me tell you something. I, I know a snake bite when I see one. Uh, I am a world-renowned expert. Almost just walked snake, right off. Uh, bite in, in this. I, uh, I am not Count Olaf. Come on. I am, uh, I am an Italian man. Uh, I am an Italian man. I am an Italian man. You accuse me of, uh, such a thing. I said, how dare you accuse me of not being Italian? That's crazy. All right, we gotta make this jump. Beautiful. It was uh, Dr. Mont Dead Guy's dream to take the Dr. Mont Dead Guy! And it would be a darn shame for him not to go. Dr. Mont Dead Guy. There it is. There it is. Oh, weird. I thought we were gonna chew through that. Don't need that, but we'll take it. Yeah, the platforming here is kind of insane. I myself was almost completely consumed and digested by the Portuguese anaconda. A Portuguese anaconda! This is just in time to stick my there it is. Prevent any further swallowing, which is, of course, standard field procedure. Oh, what? Okay, I we're am, good. Uh, I am not an actor. I am a, I am a professional herpa... Snin... Herpa what now? Come on! And I demand respect. I am a, I am an Italian. Plain and simple. Bro, oh, come on, I get up. Good food and, uh, and, uh, I'm Italian, plain and simple. The European kind. 
up here. I'm gonna go this way. Jump. There we go. Beautiful. Cross again. One more time. No, are you kidding me? I didn't see that. Oh, thank God. Wait, do I? Am I restarting from the beginning? I better not be. I'm not good. Dude, on the final jump too. What, bro? <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? We're good though. We're good. We're good. Minor miscalculation. Almost just died there too. Minor miscalculation. We're good. I was really, I straight up thought it was going to send me all the way back to the beginning. And I was going to be so upset. Beautiful. Oh, I did it again. Oh, we're good, we're good. We're good. Plain and simple. I like good food and... I am Italian, plain and simple. The European kind. Football, the European kind. Yikes. Me personally, not a big fan of soccer. Make the jump. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you. Do your little dance. Let's go. Go in. That was so much more stressful than it should have been. Gee, I, I sure wouldn't want to overstep my bounds here, but uh, I have some free time now, and the tickets to Peru are non-refundable. Oh, no, no, Mr. Stefano. I couldn't impose. Imposition? Uh, no, I, I can't say it's, a, it's an imposition at all, though your thoughtfulness and consideration is appreciated. It would be an honor for me to carry out the last wishes of Dr. Montgomery. He is a very brilliant dead guy. Well, then. It's decided. I'll just be dragging these children to the car now. Unbelievable. What you said about the snake is true. That means Mr. Stefano must be... There ain't no way. They Poe just let us go again. Bro, Poe might be the worst banker and the worst executor of the, state, of the estate. Bro is just a doofus. A generational doofus. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to have to do it for this episode. Um, Dr. Monty, Dr. Monty, God, there it is again. Um, Uncle Monty is dead, and we're not going to Peru. we got to find out where we're going next. But, yeah, um, I guess with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.